We're a group of artists, VR developers, software coders and lighting designers. Part of what makes us different is the, an understanding of the light, shadows and colours. The project is an art intervention for theatre, a Finnish uh, IT and software services company. We were inspired by our client, the company Dieto, and its name, because uh, Dieto means information. I think data is beautiful, so we thought that would be great to get the data that Dieto creates to essentially create the environment for them. Theatre has created an intelligent services system for their campus. They have uh, thousands of sensors, they collect a lot of very tangible, very interesting functional data from their office. Our job was to take that data and visualize it and bring it into this immersive art piece. From the data that Theatre is gathering, we can have a sense of how the building behaves, how it moves, how it changes throughout the time. And that is represented real time in the data, in the art installation. It starts from the journey when you come into the building and you start to tell that what Tieto is all about. So I think that we start from the data which can be illustrated very beautifully here and then the journey continues. Essentially, it's a cyber-physical space. It's an environment where the digital information, the digital world, flows through into built environment. In the meeting room corridors, the data flows through um, to special downlights where the beam width is responding to the uh, data visualization, as well as the tonality of the fixture. It creates this sort of connection to the entrance area and again, quite dynamic environment to be in. We wanted the visitors to be able to access the data also in a more tangible way. So we put in a very large scale OLED touchscreen. It's transparent, so it kind of keeps you within the space. You see the data visualizations flowing through it and when you touch it, you're affecting your surroundings. There is a lot of very new technology in this project. It's, very, it's quite experimental. For a project like this, you need a strong client, and we really have that here.